Okay, here we are. We're going to do a short little analysis of, side-by-side -side analysis, actually, of Manny Ramirez on the left and Spencer Crane on the right. Basically, what I'm looking for here is, you know, being athletic in your stance. Manny's a real traditional squared-up, you know, squared-up stance, uh, real efficient to the ball. Doesn't do a lot of crazy things, open with the front side, high hands. He just, he's got his hands preloaded into a you know, good, strong hitting position. Lifts up that front leg, and we'll kind of get him a little bit coming forward. What I look for here is you know, keeping that center of gravity right down the middle, keeping his upper body between his legs, his knees inside his feet, chin on the front shoulder, front foot comes down from this stance to the load position and this is where right here you see his hands are still back his hands are not moving as the front foot goes forward his hands do not go until the front foot goes down and then you'll see his hips and hands working together but this is the position where you want to be at your strongest point you're loading to the ball I'm gonna call it you know load to explode you want to get to an explosive position he's got he's got uh, you know pressure on his the insteps of both legs um, and he's ready to go. As he moves to the ball, you're going to see his lower half initiate his swing path, which is going to keep the hands close to the body, short to the ball in terminology. But what you're going to see is take a look at the elbows. His elbow space does not separate. They do not decrease. They stay in the same place. His hands are leading. Okay. And when we get to Spencer's hand position, you're going to see a little bit different. And that's expected for a young player. But you see Manny, hips and hands to the ball. His head stays stationary. He's kind of swiveling around his center of gravity is what I call it. He's taking his hands to inside the ball. And he gets to his contact point where you can see the ball right there coming onto the bat. Okay, right there. You can see an L-shaped back leg, heel on top of the toe, firmed up front side. Foot's at a 45 degree angle creating that resistance point. So the back side transfers into that front side and that resistance is what creates the and the, uh, the the line drive factor on the ball, creating a lot of backspin when it hits the ball. Elbows are still flexed at point of contact, short to the ball, and then he'll extend long through the ball, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Moving over here to Spencer. Okay, you're going to see Spencer's you know, pretty athletic, a lot more athletic than when he first came uh, for instruction. Um, I, I'd like to see him just get a little more hunkered down, um, his bat angle a little bit higher. I call it barrel up, barrel up to the sky knob on the catcher's feet because he tends to kind of lift his hands. He's kind of trying to slot his hands um, by creating a lot of upper body um, to the ball. But you're going to see here, you're going to see that back elbow, okay, getting in front of the hands. When you saw Manny's elbows, his hands stayed in front of his elbows where you're going to see here Kyle's elbow gets out here. You're going to see right here is where his elbow is. Okay, and his hands are back here. Okay, if I took Manny back just a little bit here, you're going to see him right at this point here, and he's at around the same spot. Okay, you're still going to see Manny's back elbow here. Oh, I'm sorry, right there. But his hands are still up in this position right there. Okay, so his hands are still in front of his elbow as he's coming through and stays that way. Now his elbow's down here. It's hard to see that actually. Let me get rid of those lines. Okay, but by doing that, he's not collapsing the backside. Manny Ramirez here. Okay, so Kyle's going to collapse down a little bit. He's just, now he's starting to pull through because you can see those, that, that back elbow, that top elbow is way inside his hands. Okay, so right here, it's be very hard to, to have any leverage and power. The bat, he's dragging the bat down. So it's gonna come, he's going to end up rolling over right here. Kind of a wobbly swing to where when you see Manny, Manny's can just direct path to the ball. He's on the plane of the pitch here. If you were able to stop, you'd see his bat is flat. He's on the plane of the pitch. And, you know, Manny Ramirez was able to keep the plane, uh, his bat on the plane of the pitch for around four feet. Okay, and as he hits the baseball, he continues to stay on the plane of the pitch. No rollover. All the way through and around his back shoulder. Okay. Where you'll see Spencer here. Kind of wobbling the bat. He rolls over here. 
and he kind of chops down and then comes back up. I mean, that's just that's a young hitter. But you know, what I'm looking at here is when he gets to this contact point, okay, which is right around here, and he, he's going to want to be firmed up. He's going to want to create that resistance so the backside can drive through, front side stopping the backside at the point of contact. Okay, and I do like the way he. He's, you know, he's he's using his backside pretty good. I mean, he gets that heel on top of that toe. You're going to see the swivel there. I call this the swivel. Center of gravity is still right down the middle in between his legs, which I like. And we can kind of just let his hands lead a little bit better. Firm up. His head his head's not moving around a lot. Okay, where man, you can just see he's swiveling around his center of gravity here. You can see that just right there. Hips leading the hands to the ball. Okay. So then his follow through, there you come through, here's Spencer's follow through. Okay, so I just you know the video actually solidifies you know the, the process as far as you know being able to see what you need to do, see where you need to be, see where you need to go, that type of thing. So you know Spencer's on his way and we'll keep on working at it and we'll use this video. Uh, to compare against another video after a few, you know, three or four or five more lessons, and uh, then you'll really be able to see the progress. So, thank you very much.